social media, but because this is my number one streaming city in the United States of America, I got to address this issue. Um, um, a situation went on this weekend where I came in the club and I was a whole lot more uh, different than I used to be. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it was because of a personal situation that I ain't gonna speak on, you know what I'm saying? But what went on at the club made the, uh, made the situation worse. You know what I'm saying? Um, to all the promoters, to all y'all, y'all opening acts, the people that y'all want to open up, man, if y'all can respect me and respect my situation, do that shit before I come to the club. Because when I come to the club, I'm trying to be in that there motherfucker, homie. I'm on federal probation, homie. And I know a lot of niggas might not give a fuck because they ain't in my shoes. They ain't went through what I went through. All you want is some motherfucking money out of the situation. I want my motherfucking life and my freedom out of the situation. You see what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I'm saying this. I come and do my job and leave, homie. I ain't with what these other rappers with. I ain't with linking and kicking it and staying in the club and drinking and politicking and all that shit. I'm not with that shit, homie. I come to get the cash, please my fans, and leave. So if you got opening acts and performances, do that shit before I get to the club, man. Because when I come in the club, when I come in the venue... I come to do my show, and I come to leave. I don't want no, y'all know my motto. I don't want no problem with no nigga. And don't no nigga want no problem with me. You see what I'm saying? So, a lot, this 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 conversation got a lot to do with that is Texas. It was a legend on a stage that night. It was one of Dallas, Texas legends on the stage that night. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't mean no disrespect. And I apologize. I'm a man. I'm a man time. I can apologize when I'm wrong. But everybody else got to be able to accept it and, and understand what they was wrong at also. When I come to your city, I come to work. I don't come to sit around and watch no opening. I ain't getting paid for that. I'm not getting paid for that. I just did five years in the feds, man. Every time I move my hand, I got to get my man. Every time. Every time I move my hand, I got to get my man, man. I'm not doing nothing for the free 99. If I got to sit here and watch anybody perform, I ain't put it in my meat. Let me get that. Because guess what? I got paid to come do a show. I didn't get paid to come sit here and watch people perform. I respect it, and I get it, and I understand, but what y'all got to understand is this. Like I just said on Facebook, I am on federal probation, man. I got kids. I got responsibilities. I got people depending on me. I'm trying to come do this shit and get the fuck on. Y'all got to keep in mind that doing these shows... Is how I went to the feds. Doing this shit is how I went to the feds. I went to Little Rock, Arkansas. Motherfuckers was opening up. Soon as I got on the mic, shots ring out. 
So you got to understand that I'm traumatized, dog. I set my program up a certain way so I can live and be free. It was a legend in Dallas, Texas that was dirty at night. I didn't know. Nobody informed me. And not just that, I had already told the people, have your stage clear, have your opening acts, do y'all thing. When I come in, I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to please my fans. I'm going to interact with my fans. I'm going to take a few pictures and I'm going to be out. Man, please respect the game, man. That's all I'm asking, man. I just did five years of my life. That made 15 years of my life that I had been gone and away from my kids and away from freedom. All I'm doing is securing my life and my freedom. Don't feel some type of way about me, man, for taking care of my motherfucking motherfucker. can't be doing shit for the free 99. I ain't these young nigga rappers, man. I ain't 23, 24, 25 years old, man. I'm 30 years old, man. I got three kids, man. I got niggas, man. I got motherfuckers that's dependent on me, motherfuckers that been here for me. I'm not what y'all used to. So quit handling me like that. I need you to help me help you. And you niggas ain't sitting back dissecting the situation. You ain't sitting back saying, okay, this man just got... Listen, I swear to God, right? Check this out. Some real shit. I just had a promoter. Shout out to Miss Teresa. I gotta shout you out. I just had a promoter. She booked five shows at one time. I ain't clean with all the money. A fight broke out at the club. Niggas got the one for guns and shit. Get what she called and told me. These niggas up here acting a fool. But I care more about your freedom than what's going on. So don't even come. Meet me right here and come and get your back ends. And you can go on and go in for the night, baby. That's some real shit. That's some real motherfucking. But Miss Teresa, an older woman. And she care about my life and my freedom. You bitches care about money. That's the difference between the real and the fake. You separate the real from fake and you will see who remains. And y'all don't understand. That's what I got to offer. That's what I got to offer. I got to offer the real. See, a lot of these niggas in this shit strictly for the money. It ain't all about the money to me, home. I need my principles, my morals, my respect. I love Dallas, Texas. My number one streaming city. And I hate shit happened the way it happened. And it had to be right there or around that area or with the legend from Dallas, Texas. I hate that. But... It happened like that. And I was I was mad. I was fire hot. Because my life is on the line, man. My life. My life. Then when I'm dead, guess what? Motherfucker gonna say R.I.P. for this two times and forget about me within 72 hours. 
Fuck. The fuck out of here. The fuck out of here. You think I'm trying to be a motherfucking memory? Nah, nigga. This shit gonna last forever and I'm gonna make sure it lasts forever, nigga. And nigga gonna respect this shit, nigga. Nigga gonna respect this shit, nigga. And like I said, I apologize to the ones who think that it was toward Dallas, Texas, because it wasn't. It was the circumstances. It was what was going on. You see what I'm saying? Y'all don't understand what was going on. The position that I was put in. Always got to be you that'll get you fucked up. It'll be somebody around you that'll get you fucked up. So, to eliminate that, I don't need nobody on the stage when I'm performing, man. Don't do that. I already explained this to the promoters. All they're trying to make extra money off the VIP and on the stage and shit is not gonna work with me. I'm a different type of artist, man. These ain't been through what I've been through. What the fuck wrong with you niggas? Let me live, man. Let me be free, man. Let me enjoy my life and my freedom, man. And my kids, man. And my success. Don't put me in a situation for some fucking money. For two, three, four extra thousand dollars. Don't do me that. Because you trying to make some extra dollars. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm right here with y'all. I'm right here with y'all. But this shit going to another. Fuck you, time out. I ain't never played a sport in my life. But the name familiar? It's familiar. I done heard of it. I know of it. So Dallas feel away because I ain't know who Ezekiel Elliott was. But then they don't even not know that me and them mind like this. We didn't gotta understand them. We, yeah, like people not understand that I'm 30. I've been literally gone 15 years of my life, dog. I went in when I was 14. I'm gonna like, I'm explaining this shit to y'all. The difference between me and these rap niggas. I went in when I was 14. I got out when I was 17. Excuse me. Went back when I was 18. Got out when I was 21. Went back when I was 22. Got out when I was 25. I mean 24. Went back at 25. Got out at 30. A nigga like me. I'm talking about a hard body, hard boy. I ain't looking at no motherfucking sports in jail, nigga. Nigga, I got a shank in that bitch. I'm trying to worry about who the fuck hating on me because I'm selling more K2 than them and shit, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. I ain't watching no motherfucking sports, nigga. I'm trying to make me some money so when I go home, I ain't got to depend on my mama or no bitch, nigga. I'm trying to have me some money, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. I'm standing on business, nigga. I'm ducking the law, nigga. Trying to go to the hole, nigga. So I can send my baby something, nigga. You niggas on this internet shit playing. Like this shit a game, nigga. Man, leave me alone, man. Leave me alone, man. You niggas don't know what the fuck I got going on. Leave me the fuck alone.